So what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or a homeowner? I own my own home. Okay. And what type of structure? Is it single family detached, multi-unit townhouse? Is it a condo? Is it an apartment? A single home. Okay. And when was your approximate move-in date? Um, it was a remodel, mm -hmm. and I moved in in 2015. 2015. Have you always lived here in Cook County? No. Where did you live before? I've lived in Atlanta, Marietta, mm -hmm. Noonan, um, Lexington, Kentucky, Wilmore, Kentucky, um, and Athens. Okay. Um, can you tell me how your family ended up here? Uh, I was born here. So okay, so moved you moved back. back. Yeah. All right. That's really interesting. I'm actually from the Philippines, and I moved here in 2015 for graduate school. Uh -huh. Met my husband who lives in Tifton, so now I live in Tifton. Okay. And I'm actually renting to own, and it's also okay. single family detached. So can you describe further the structure of your house? What kind of roof do you have? How many bedrooms? Is it a two-story or one-story? Um, it is a single story, mm -hmm. uh, four bedroom, three bath, uh, and a apartment garage mm -hmm. bonus room uh, with a garage. Uh, we have a breezeway that connects the garage to the home, and the previous home was just a thirteen hundred foot ranch home, which we added an, um, another thousand feet on the back. Mm -hmm. To, um, to add another bedroom and a uh, great room. What about your roof? Uh, the roof is uh, asphalt shingles now. Uh, we have a somewhat low pitch for our roof, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we decided to keep that pitch after we re remodeled. I mean, it's, it's uh, within code. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about and if it would be too low for our area for uh, solar panels for the winter mm -hmm. season because of the um, of the direction. It is um, facing the front of the house, which has the large roof line, does face uh, the south. So mm -hmm. it's been, and when it was built, it was built north, you know, right on the compass. And uh, so we actually contemplated um, adding solar panels mm -hmm. at the time of uh, construction, um, but there were a lot of issues and questions at that time about mounting and code and all that, and so our uh, we we kind of put it off, and uh, we own um, seventy well eighty five acres on a farm, mm -hmm. and so we thought uh, we could um, add solar panels in the future uh, mm -hmm. that would be freestanding mm -hmm. as a, a shelter or whatever. So with that being said, have you ever invested in solar? Um, yes, I mean, I have solar fence chargers mm -hmm. because we do have cows and uh, where they are located, uh, we do not have power and just got aggravated having to change batteries out mm -hmm. to charge them. So I've, I've dealt with that, and I've been um, pleasantly surprised with the, uh, the, uh, the panels, how well they have charged, and how they, um, with lightning, we haven't had the lightning damage with the solar that we had with the plug-in models. Mm -hmm. um, and as a kid growing up, um, you know, I played with solar, uh, with different things, little kits and all mm -hmm. that. So, you know, just always been interested in it. But, you know, the feasibility of it has uh, been one of those things I've mm -hmm. questioned. With that solar fence that you have, did you have them installed or did you do it yourself? Like, No, I, I installed it myself. You installed it yourself. Um, do you, so you own them? Yes. Yes, Okay. Uh, but with regards to your roof, you haven't had ro rooftop solar, correct? No, no. I would be interested mm -hmm. uh, in that as uh, we looked at the price when we were uh, building it or remodeling. And at that time, um, the solar panels, it was it would be about $30,000 mm -hmm. to do the installation at that time. And the um, 
market. This is around 2008 mm-hmm. when we started building a project, and we seen the price of the panels <laughs> decline, mm-hmm. and so as they were dropping, you know, about I think five to ten percent a year. We were thinking we'll just hold, hold off until it hits, uh, mm-hmm. you know, plateau or, or bottom, and then think about it uh, further. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I know that there's a lot of work to do the calculations uh, for your backup battery if you go off grid. Mm-hmm. Um, and our n- the other thing we checked into with uh, our local co-op, which mm-hmm. is Cockwood EMC, um, there were. Um, not the incentives mm-hmm. that Tennessee Valley Authority and other uh, energy companies give for solar panels, uh, where you can uh, be on the net zero plan. And mm-hmm. but with the Cockwood EMC, you know, I think we're paying about eight cent a kilowatt hour now, and um, for that generation. Uh, of power, you know, mm-hmm. was uh, was not that great, and so there were some questions there, as how the reimbursement might go. Would mm-hmm. it be a net zero, you know, uh, by rewinding the um, the meter, or would it be the production side of it uh, being paid, you know, mm-hmm. half a cent a kilowatt hour versus buying six cent kilo or eight cent kilowatt mm-hmm. watt hour um just what the issues were there and there was a uh, you know a lot of questions there all right but if you had the option would you consider rooftop solar on your home um yes i, I think so um i believe energy prices will will go up um and i like the lease plans that mm-hmm. Uh, we're going on that we looked at, but since um, that has not been a real, uh, really pushed in our area, I know mm-hmm. out in the northwest where I think it's Solar City uh, does a lot of their work and uh, doing the leases and stuff, which makes it easy. You don't have to to install it or mm-hmm. take care of it. You know, it's just kind of like you know, keep it clean and and just minimal maintenance. That would be great, mm-hmm. um, but. I would even um, take an option if I did build a, another house. Mm-hmm. I would probably design it differently so that um, we could be on a um, a system where we can handle an off grid system, mm-hmm. uh, which I think is uh, you know really neat. But um, you know the bad thing about that is the battery backup mm-hmm. and how expensive they are, but. Those prices are coming down too. So, you did mention, you know, um, demographics as to where um, solar power is being used. So right. you now have the map of the United States of America in front of you. What I would like you to do is, if you can draw on the map for me, where you think most people um, who invest in solar power would be, or solar energy would be. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to be hard. Okay. <laughs> Now, where do I think it's best? Sure, but it's so right now. There, um, where can for the sake of our audio interview, uh-huh. where did you insert the map? Okay, the, uh, I have the uh, western area of the mm-hmm. United States: California, Oregon, Washington, uh, Nevada. Although I think uh, Washington and Oregon are probably probably limited because mm-hmm. of. Their, uh, their overcast days, and uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Okay. So I think that's probably the, our key folks that are putting in a lot of solar. I would guess in mm-hmm. our southern, eastern area, I think about places like Asheville, North Carolina, mm-hmm. parts of Virginia, um, and those areas, and probably uh, some of Florida. Okay. Um, what kind of people do you think they are? What's their jobs? What's their social groups? I think they're upper income mm-hmm. people, um, probably well educated, um, very outdoorsy, um, very involved with the environment, and um, probably, you know, just uh, 
basic home lo- you know basic homeowners. I mm-hmm. would think a lot of them are. So are those um, people that you just mentioned, which are probably the high adopters of rooftop solar energy, are they similar to your social groups or different? Um, somewhat similar. I would say I'm probably um, moderate, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, and um, you know, we are... I think blessed with their income. Mm-hmm. Um, probably don't make as much as some of these other folks. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I don't know. I, I think uh, um, in our area we're probably just a little bit more conservative. But mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm still in the interested in the environment. Of course, I farm, mm-hmm. and um, and so I take a responsibility with the land. What about the people in Cook County in general? <laughs> Do you think? The people in Cook County are similar or different to the people living in those areas where you think that we have high adopters of rooftop solar energy? Um, I think we are somewhat ignorant about um, solar. Mm-hmm. Uh, just being at the uh, barber shop where the discussion has been brought up about issues, uh, I think somewhat hesitant because uh, I know one of the issues that I was asked about was um, out west, the damage that the uh, solar uh, mirrors were doing for uh, birds and wildlife in, I think, in Arizona where they had the smokers. Uh, and so that was our discussion. And a lot of people believed that that was the reflection off of uh, solar panels that, that were being put into our county, and they were afraid that, you know, that was going to cause damage. But I tried to explain that's mm-hmm. totally a different way of solar generation that uses mirrors with focused energy rather than electro um, photovoltaic um, panels. So. Mm-hmm. so right now you have the map of the state of Georgia in front of you. So same thing, if you can use your pen, draw in there where you think the most uh, people who are high adopters of solar energy, where do you think they live in the state of Georgia and what kind of social groups or kind of people are they? What are their jobs? Um, going over from Athens mm-hmm. to Marietta and uh, up into the lower mountains. Mm-hmm. Um, I would think Savannah area especially the coastal area. And what what do you think um, makes those communities different from the community here in Cook County? Um, I would think probably uh, economic status mm-hmm. first and then uh, probably maybe environmental issues that are going on uh, that are being brought forth in the Atlanta area and the metropolitan areas mm-hmm. where they see the limitations of resources. Uh, I would also think uh, education is part of that, and that's why I included Athens mm-hmm. there as, um, as um, you know, being open-minded to changes and looking for new ways to supply energy. What about most of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar? Um, why do you think they do or they don't? I don't have any friends that have solar. Um, and why they don't, probably money uh, being the first step, the limitation. And then um, um, I think probably just not knowing that much about it or hearing that much about it. Um, Sometimes solar gets in our area mm-hmm. um, equated with, uh, you know, a liberal mindset. Mm-hmm. And um, and like I said, that uh, they don't want someone to come in and tell them how to do it and mm-hmm. what to do and, and limit their amount of how much energy they, mm-hmm. they can use, which I understand is totally, you know, not, not really nothing to do with that, but... That is the connotations of mm-hmm. being involved with some government agency that comes in and does the solar work and all that. They feel mm-hmm. obligated to um, 
um, to follow those regulations. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being very knowledgeable about solar energy, 1 not so knowledgeable, how would you rate yourself? 4. Okay, what about Cook County in general? 2. Okay.